Welcome, friends and family. You know, I feel like I did a really good job editing yesterday's video because I'm trying to go through and, you know, pick out what I'm going to use as the tags and also, you know, work up the description and all of that. And twice now, I've caught myself at the end of the video not having, you know, not having contributed anything to what I'm trying to do that I just started watching it, you know? It makes me think that I made a good video. Another day with the Price is Right theme song stuck in my head. I don't know, that's okay, because the Price is Right theme song is freaking brilliant. It just puts a smile on my face. Okay, I'm out of bread, so it's time to make some more. Recently, for I guess a little while now, I've been using uh, a bread machine to do this. I used to do it by hand all the time, but it takes, you know, it takes a lot longer to do that. A lot more effort. The recipe I typically use is a pretty simple, mainly wheat bread. I don't go out and get stuff like vital gluten very often, so I have to basically do it 50-50 all-purpose flour and wheat flour. It's two cups of each of those. Um, you want to do this in the right order. So you put your water in. I use about 12 ounces of water. That should be about a teaspoon and a half of salt. I don't know what it is, olive oil is just freaking awesome for everything. Try to put about a, a tablespoon or so of that in there. I used to use honey all the time, but then for whatever reason I decided to put my honey in the fridge and it crystallized. You know, it's still good, but I need to I need to let it turn back into kind of a liquid form. That's four spoonfuls of sugar. Now that's all the stuff that goes under the flour. And it's important to keep this stuff separate for you know, reasons of basic chemistry or whatever. Because that salt, that salt can kill the yeast. If the sugar mixes in with the yeast at the wrong time or proportions, then it makes things go all screwy. So yeah, again, two cups of each of those. And here's the yeast. And here's the wondrous part about using a bread machine. Put it in there, plug it in, set your setting, and hit the start button. That's it. And it turns out that the flavor in bread that I like the most is the flavor of yeast. It's nothing to do with the rest of it, it's just the yeast. <laughs> I'd forgotten that I recorded uh, making the bread earlier, so showing the, you know, that I'm showing that I've, you know, successfully made a loaf of bread. No, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't usually name it until I edit them together. Say something, Kim. Hey, baby. Hello. <laughs> there you go. How do you like that uh, freshly made bread with a thin spread of, uh, what do you call that? Mustard. <laughs> All right, I feel like expelling some energy as I've stayed inside most of the day. And, uh, you know, I never finished mowing. M mowing, mowing. Oh.
Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Kim, I love you. Everyone else, thanks for watching.